Oh, hey there. This is Elizabeth Taylor. She came from a home out in Panther Valley where her owner died. Taking her a bit to adjust to club brain, but I think she's pretty comfortable here now. She lived with another cat. That cat I've named Pearl Evelyn. <laughs> and I took them both because, well, they needed a place to live. And I thought that they were used to being together. You know what, it turns out they kind of hate each other. <laughs> They'd always been inside cats, and it's taken them a while to get used to going outside and out into my yard. And now they both sleep on my bed at night, and they really have learned how to tolerate each other. And you know what? They've made some new friends here at Club Brain. I know a lot of people who pay a lot for purebred animals, and I think it's great no matter how you adopt an animal. But I've always looked for an animal who really, really needs me. We once had a dog named Bliss. Gosh, I loved her. She's a Briard, and we had her for many, many years. She came from the Humane Society when she was about eight years old is when we got her, so she was an older dog. She was the best nanny dog anybody could ever ask for. She filled a huge void in this family when my husband left so many years ago. In fact, you can read all about it in this book called Finding Bliss, available at AaronMeAndBreen.com. But over the years, we had a lot of animals. We had Oreo, who was a cat who lived next door and he adopted us as his family. Mama Kitty, who used to steal other cats, kittens in the neighborhood because she liked being the mama. One Ear, who was a Siamese cat, named One Ear for obvious reasons. We should have called him Vincent Van Gogh. I don't know why we didn't. And Moogle, the biggest and meanest cat that I think I have ever known. <laughs> Back to Elizabeth Taylor here. I feel like she's kind of saying, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Love me because I really need a new friend. Seriously, I can only hope that karma is a real thing and there'll be someone out there to step in and take care of me when I really need them, huh? <laughs> because this cat, she's 13 years old and I am way older than that already. <laughs> For Aging and Awesome, I'm Erin Breen.